So when I first described the superdense coding protocol, there were lots of details in that protocol, uh, things like uh, particular quantum gates and so on. Over the past few videos, we've developed a higher level understanding of many different parts of the protocol, um, uh, ways of understanding that let us ignore some of those details. In this video, what I'm going to do is put this higher level understanding together um, and so we can get a global understanding of the whole, whole protocol. And what we'll see when we do this is that actually it's a very simple uh, protocol, really fundamentally. Um, let me begin by reminding you, however, of some of the details in the original protocol. So in particular, uh, you'll recall that there were three people uh, involved, Alice, Sarah Eve, Alice, uh, and Bob. And Eve starts out with two qubits, both in the state zero. And on the first qubit, she does first a Hadamard gate, followed by the controlled not gate between the two qubits, followed by sending one qubit off to Alice and sending the, uh, sending the other qubit off to Bob. So what Alice does with her qubit depends on which two bits of information she wishes to send uh, over to Bob. So the rule is that if she her two bits are zero, zero, she does nothing at all. She applies the identity gate, if you can think of it that way. If she has zero, one, she applies a not gate to her qubit. One, zero, she applies a Z gate. And one, one, she applies first a Z, followed by an X. And that's all. She then sends her qubit uh, off to Bob, who's going to do his thing. Uh, before we get to that, uh, let me just remind you the uh, states uh, which result. Um, we, of course, get four corresponding states. The first one is 0, 0, plus 1, 1. Uh, the second is 1, 0, plus 0, 1. The third is 0, 0, minus 1, 1. And the fourth is 1, 0, minus 0, 1. Okay, and uh, what Bob does to finish things off is he applies a C0, followed by a Hadamard, uh, and then measures both of his qubits in the computational basis. So let's uh, you know just put together the understanding that we've uh, obtained over the last few videos. All of this can be summed up as in one statement, as Eve uh, prepares the bell state. She prepares the naught naught plus one one state. Um, the second step is just that Eve sends a qubit off to Alice and she sends a qubit off to Bob. The third step is that Alice um, applies, in many ways this is really the most complicated part of the protocol, she applies you know, an I, X, Z or XZ gate uh, depending on which um, uh, you know, of the you know, four possible uh, values for her two bits as she wants to communicate to Bob. Um, then Alice sends her qubit to Bob. And uh, finally, the protocol is concluded by Bob distinguishing uh, the four states. Or you know which of the which of the four states that he has. So I should have said when Alice applies this, um, you know it gives uh, one of the four Bell states. And uh, yeah, and the final step is just for Bob to distinguish which of the four Bell states uh, uh, he has. And all of these things we know on general grounds uh, can be done. Of course, the uh, you know the sending of the qubits is is obviously trivial. Uh, but these other operations are not so trivial, and it's nice to have these higher level uh, abstractions that let us see uh, that they can be done uh, somehow. Okay, uh, that's all there is to the superdense coding protocol. Um, you, and that you know, really, I guess, completes our discussion of superdense uh, coding. We're now going to move on, uh, and in the next uh, few videos, we'll understand quantum teleportation. And uh, to do that, we're going to need to start with one preparatory uh, video before we get to the main uh, event. And uh, what that video will be about is partial measurements. So measurements of a quantum system 
uh, where you're just measuring part of the system, you're not measuring the whole uh, system. Up to now, we've always been assuming that, that you're doing a measurement of the whole system, but you need to know for quantum teleportation what happens if you me measure just, say, a couple of qubits out of three qubits.